Ah! All right, guys, I have 20 pounds of bait here and we're about to put it in this pond and get these fish fired up. This bait consists of jello, oatmeal, corn. What else did I put in here? I put some crackers in here on one of them too because I ran out of other stuff. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get all this bait in the pond and see if we can get the fish fired up. All right, people, first thing we're gonna do is actually get the castable fish finder in here. See what it looks like before we put the chum in. Then I'm gonna put all the chum right here and then we're gonna see what the action's like. It's pretty slow right now. Couple small bites, he's caught one fish, but nothing to write home about. So we're gonna get the fish finder out. There's a fish right here that keeps jumping. I'm pretty sure it's a goldfish. And I'm gonna kind of chuck this not far. We'll go straight out first. I'm seeing a lot of little bait fish at the top. Really no big fish yet. Well, as you guys can see, there's really no significant marks down there right now. I'm gonna take a couple more casts so we kind of cover everything, but. Ooh! Ooh! Wow, never caught one of those before, huh? Hey, that's not a bad one compared to the ones we were catching last time. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> there we go. To all you activists out there, this is all biodegradable, which means it's gonna dissolve and break down. It's not gonna go to waste. The fish are likely gonna eat all of this. Oh my God, this is so much. My goodness, this is a lot. This is a lot. That's only one bag down. I'll probably do two and then wait on the next two. It's not fair. Not fair. We're probably going to do two now, guys, and then wait on the second two. Oh, my God. That's two bags down. That's probably about a little over 10 pounds of bait because this one isn't all the way full. All right, it's time, guys. I need to rig up one more rod, but uh, we're going to let that chum do its thing. Shouldn't take very long. We have some hair rigged bread. I did uh, bring my threading needle. Actually, I bought a new one because I lost my other one. I'm not gonna lie. Look like right there. And uh, we'll see how long this takes. See if we can get us a goldfish. This one we'll put right there. He's got a double. Look at this. Drag screaming on both rods. Catfish. Let me get him out of the water for you so you can just worry about this one. Oh, he's there. Look at this, guys. Fast action. We're going here. Hey, we're fixing it. All right. Got you. Catfish. I th I'm thinking catfish. Actually, let me get this one out of the net. Yeah, same size. You <laughs> jinxed us. Now we got the catfish coming back. <laughs> well, the action is certainly picking up. Oh! <laughs> but uh, as you guys can see, he dunked the rod pretty good. Feels catfishy, potentially. But I haven't seen him yet, so I don't know potentially was correct a catfish on hair rig bread could be bigger but uh, i'll take it for now oh i just saw him get off as you can see we're getting bites we are getting bites all right let's go straight out again I think it's another catfish, if I had to guess, because of the head shakes, but I don't know. Let's see. The chum is certainly working, though, because the bite is beginning to really pick up here. That would be another catfish. 
Guys, there's a lot of catfish in this pond. That's actually not a bad one. Not terrible. I've caught worse. All right, there we go. He'll stop freaking out. Oh my God, oh my God. Relax, relax, there he is, there he is. This guy, we need some more fish, drop it. Good. Uh, that's pretty cool. Well, we're on the catfish, guys. Yeah, that's a nice one. Fat boy. They're getting a little bigger ish. All right, guys, this is about an hour after the chum was in the water. You can see many more fish down there. Those arches all below are the fish. Uh, chum doesn't exactly work how everybody thinks. They think that it just draws all the fish in and stuff, but it really just keeps them in the area longer. Uh, but as you can see, it was starting to work. Now it is. It seems like the fish are slightly moving in, but I don't know. We're getting a lot of small, weird bites. What do we got? Micro cat. That's all right. It's going to attract all sizes. Baby. But fish, that's three fish. I'm not going to get this one too far. Oh, got him. Jeez. It was like just sitting there and then it was like, <laughs> we got him, guys. Looks like a catfish, if my calculations are correct. But, huh? <laughs> As my rod's like, <laughs> freaking head shakes. Head shakes for years. That was a weird bite. Well, the catfish are out to play from the chum. That is for sure. Our goal is potentially some goldfish, koi, carp, but I guess we can't catch those without catching a bunch of these things first. So there we go. I think that's number three or four for me. I can't remember. It's time for some more chum, but uh, I mean, the bite has definitely picked up since we started chumming this. Bunch of catfish, bunch of bluegill. We have not connected with the goldfish or the carp yet, but I'm sure that is, uh, that is coming soon, so. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. I remember in DC in the winter time, they would be really hard to catch. Summer, I just always like, summer's when I get to catch these like I got no bites for a while. That's true. Right after we chummed. Right after we chummed, we're getting the fish. Is it a rainbow trout? <laughs> <laughs> well, this fish hooked itself. I think we all know what it is. This guy folded the rod. The camera was not on for it, but he folded it pretty good. They're all about the same size. Please carp. Well, I didn't have the camera on for this one. The chum has now attracted the bait fish. And we got this nice little gill right here. Beautiful colors. We thought it was a tilapia at first, but definitely a little bluegill. I don't see him. What's that? How the hell did you see that? <laughs> That's the only way. Bro, I couldn't even set it down. <laughs> oh, guys, I hope the camera got that. I hope not. It's starting to feel like a catfish now. It's starting to feel like a catfish. That was crazy, though. I was literally putting my rod down. I know I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, that's okay, I guess. That's probably my biggest of the day. And just smacked it. That chum is bringing them in now.
Oops, there we go. Was that recording? Okay, now I am. Here we go, guys. It's fast action over here now. Sometimes it takes them a little bit to get into the area, so. That's what I'm saying, but I don't know. Show me something cool. No. That's all right. He gave us a good pull on the rod. And he's he's fighting pretty good, so. <laughs> That's the biggest one. Can I get that net, actually? I don't think I want to flip this one. This is the biggest catfish of the day. Oh, beautiful. You didn't even freaking see him and you got him. Heck yeah. Yeah, he is. Thank you for the net job. Yeah. Now, these ones like to freak out, but there he is. That is a chunky channel right there. Nice belly on him. I think I can feel some of the chum in his stomach. <laughs> he is full of it. All right, we're going to let him go. That's pretty cool. You remind me of Kanye when he was running across the, <laughs> the stage in his thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep. Oh, nice oh, one. Oh, he's like super light brown. He is. I knew that. Oh, no. I knew that strategy would work. Yes. Let's go. Dude, that's a fatty. Oh, and the hook just came out. Look at his. He has like a bulge right here. Yeah. That's such there a weird is. fish. Are you going to show your, your phone? Oh, no, you're not Oh, my phone's dead. Oh, it's dead. Okay. All right. I he's out of there.